The supply chain is not just logistics like a lot of people think. It's the full value stream. That starts with raw material supply, then goes into forgings and castings, and then, last but not least, we're looking at special processes like coating or shot peening because our material is normally operated in hotter environments than the melting temperature. The Pearl 15 supply chain has a global footprint. So we're looking at suppliers in more than 30 countries. In total, for the Pearl 15, we have roughly 160 suppliers. Looking at the Pearl 15, we have roughly 75% sourced within the external supply chain. Before you start a development program like the Pearl 15, you look into the requirements for capability and capacity in your supply chain. And sometimes the existing supply chain can cope with it and sometimes it can't. Therefore, you also have to look for new opportunities in the market and you have to bring new suppliers on board. We did both on the Pearl 15. Suppliers who normally want to enter the aerospace market need to follow quite strict requirements with NetCap and also our Rolls-Royce internal saver requirements and be approved so that they can be part of the Rolls-Royce supply chain. Our global supply chain is managed by local teams. We call them supplier management teams. That enables us to also cope with the cultural differences on a global supply chain, also with language barriers. We expect our suppliers to follow the customer first approach as we do. We are measured on a day-to-day basis by our customers. That means more or less operating a flawless supply chain. Our suppliers need to deliver 100% conforming parts, that means zero defects. We're looking at highly committed, proactive, motivated and capable suppliers to make that a joint success.